Welcome to InThisCornerTV.com. I'm Smitty. We're at Mandalay Bay. They're setting things up for Saturday night's big middleweight showdown. Winky Wright takes on Paul Williams. We had the opportunity to chat with the fighters. Paul, tell us about your preparation for this fight with Winky Wright. You know, I had a good preparation. You know, basically just nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Just everything the same. You know, we're the same like the small left-handed guys. You know, I'm not doing nothing that's out of my league or nothing, but... I basically just work like everybody else worked. You know, I just just been probably more, I say more stamina wise. You know, we did a lot more stamina stuff. A little bit of trouble with Quintana the first time, not the second time. What about Winky? Uh, he certainly presents problems. He's a tremendous veteran, been around a long time, great defensively, great jab, two south balls. How do you uh, see this one uh, stacking up? Oh, stacking up for me to win. I'm definitely, that's not me being cocky or arrogant. That's my confidence level. You know, I'm in the best shape of my life, you know, and I'm working like temp service. I'm making work in there. You know, one of the things, I, I, when I watch you fight, I still sometimes think you haven't decided exactly what it, your style is going to be. It's like sometimes you're still trying to figure it out yourself. Yeah, when I get in the ring, my style uh, adapt to the person I'm fighting, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we'll be working on something specifically, specifically, but when I get in the ring, they're doing something different than my style of just to that, and I could go ahead and work through it. In terms of fighting a guy like Winky Wright, who's going to be a Hall of Famer, how important is this for your resume? Oh, it's very really important for my resume because I want to get that reputation that I'm being a Hall of Fame. So he's a Hall of Fame fighter, you know, so I want, to, I want to take that and beat, beat him for that. You know. Give us your prediction on uh, Saturday night. I'll definitely come out with a win, but don't be surprised if it won't be a knockout. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Winky, 21 months off. Now, we know the negative things that that can do for a fighter. What about positive is there anything positive that uh, this layoff can bring for you well i think you know it, it gave me time to really focus on what i want to do and uh you know let let my body heal up and just just enjoy life and you know get that hunger in me again to come out here and train as hard as i needed to train for this fight watching what bernard did the pavlik and what uh, sugar shane did the margarito does that in inspire you oh most definitely you know you got two two great fighters and and shane and uh and bernard and the way they came out and won their victories and, and accomplished what they uh did that them nice uh was, was very motivating and uh you know like i said helped me to uh really focus on what i need to do this guy's long he's tall he's young he throws a lot of punches how are you going to beat this guy Saturday night? Just be me, you know what I mean? It, it, he going to throw the punches, I'm going to throw punches. It's about who land and who hurt who. And uh, like I said, I, I don't get hurt. So, you know what I mean? It's going to be a great fight. I'm coming to inflict punishment all on him. He going to try to do the same to me. But, you know, I see me winning the fight. His prediction was he might stop you late. Your prediction? I think I'm going to stop him. Uh, you know, but I don't like to go for knockout. I like to say I'm going for knockout. But when it, when it, when, when it, uh, you know, presents itself, I'm going to take it and, uh, and and really put a hurting on it. Best of luck. Great to see you fighting again. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Well, both fighters appear very confident, and they should. Winky is certainly a Hall of Famer someday. Paul Williams, one of the most avoided fighters in boxing today. You know, Winky once had that uh, tag, didn't he? Should be an excellent matchup. Paul Williams, 10 years younger, 10 more inches in reach, more height, throws a lot of punches. Winky is a reflex fighter. I think he's lost just a little bit of his speed, his reflexes, just enough to create enough opening for Paul Williams to win a unanimous 12-round decision. Be sure and stay tuned in this corner TV.com for post-fight reaction. Enjoy the fight.